Welcome to everything with Dofa. Okay, this is an inspirational story to keep you motivated. A Nigerian woman named Laduni Idowugiwa Osage is currently basking in euphoria as she welcomes her first child at almost age 50. Ladun met her husband, Aigbovo Giwa Osage, when she turned 47. They tied the knot when she turned 48. She became pregnant at 49 and gave birth to a baby boy on June 25th, 2021, just before her 50th birthday. This hard woman testimony, according to uh, sources, was shared online by Ladun's friend, Ifani Omene, on Monday, June 28, 2021, and the, the shared uh, post reads in part, I was thrilled that that day in the year 2019 when she sent the message to the WhatsApp group. She said, I, Oladuni Ido, finally found love at 47. Join me in appreciating God for his faithfulness and mercy. Indeed, delay is not a denier. Her words of encouragement and inspiration brought to life dead dreams and silvered hope. The members of the matured Christian singles celebrated one of their own, Laduni, whose story of triumph made many believe in the message of an untimed God. Laduni's story followed a trail of triumph of a lady who found love at 47, married at 48, got pregnant at age 49, and just before her 50th birthday gave birth to a baby boy called Osarum Wesi. The Lord has done me well. Oluwa Sheyi Tafumi, the Lord has done this for me in full. And Nosahare, God's will, whatever, sorry, you guys. On 25th June 2021, Laduni took a rapid leap onto the fifth floor as the mother of a baby boy. I present the golden gladiator, Laduni Giwa Osage, whose story has proved that biblical saying that weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. Laduni Marriage to Aigbovu Giwa Osage, whom I call the husband of the year, is an encouragement to those Christian sisters who are beckoning at compromise because they feel that God has forgotten them and they want to help themselves. The gap tooth queen has changed address and has made many ladies dress their lives with hope. So this is what her friend put on the, on the chart. So um, we had some few people, and uh, the Ladun Idowigiwa Osage replied to her friend's chat, and she said, OMG, Ifi, my wonderful friend with the golden pen, you have done it again, another masterpiece. You have made me cry tears of joy and gratitude to God. Thank you very much. I'm highly honored. Ifang Omene. So um, those are just friends celebrating online, and it caught attention. You know, over time, um, we women feel that if you don't get married at 26, if you don't get married at clock 30, then that is it. But there is nothing that God cannot do. This is not to say that maybe when you have gotten someone that wants to marry you at 26 or 23, you will keep waiting because you have seen her story. It's actually for people that did not have that opportunity, did not have people come to marry them uh, at that age. But be encouraged, even if you're single, even if you're separate, if you're divorced or anything, be encouraged. The right person will come. What I always tell Christians is that don't settle. When the devil brings delay, he wants you to just settle and take ordinarily. You won't take, you know, your, 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 your list. You begin to shorten it. You begin to remove some things on the list of expectation. It begins to sound as if God cannot do some things for you. When he actually says he can do everything. He can actually do everything. There is nothing. The Bible said that there is nothing that is impossible with God. If you keep faith alive, you keep believing and you do not waver, you not settle for less, then eventually you're going to get what is due for you just like this young woman that got married at 47. At 47, I, I want to believe that she would have gotten a lot of insults. You know, her friends would have said it's over for her. Who will marry her again and what have you not? But you know, the good news is that we have divorcees too. We have people that have children. 
And even if you cannot have a child, it's better to have peace of mind. I will tell you gladly that if you marry someone that you do not have peace of mind, if you marry someone that you're not compatible, you are even going to be sad all your life. And I have just discovered that some women are developing um, serious sicknesses, terminal diseases, and some men are developing terminal diseases because they are staying in a toxic marriage. When we talk about marriage that is toxic, it's not just about physical abuse. You have people abusing people emotionally psychologically you have people the bible said that at the end of the time people will become lovers of themselves you hear people say things that i'm not changing for you um like me the way i am even god does not love us the way we are he expects us to change so if you have a spouse or you have a husband or wife or you have a partner that wants you to change in some area because it's affecting them then the onus is on you to prove to them that you love them and change them. And there is nothing we cannot do. Our God is a protocol breaker. Our God is not respecter of anything. So as Christians, please, let's not allow the delay that the devil has caused to make us settle for things that ordinarily we wouldn't settle for. But let's wait for that list, that thing you're asking God for. Keep waiting and keep praying every day. Even if you have to litter the paper with tears in the night, keep praying. But have hope. You know, the Bible said that who say the thing and it come to pass when the matter of the Lord has not decreed. If the Lord say that there is nothing that is impossible, then let all men be lie and let God alone be, the, be true. So you have to hold on. Today is just to use this story to inspire you. That single woman that you have not been married and you're almost about giving up. Or you just like the sister said that you're beckoning to give up. Just hold on. Hope is there and whatsoever you want, at the end of the day, you're going to have it. You just need to be patient. Uh, delay actually comes to make us frustrated and make us settle. That is the devil's tactics. The devil has come to kill, to steal, and to destroy. So what he does is that if he cannot do one, he must do the remaining one. So if he makes you settle, he has already destroyed your life because you're not going to be happy in that marriage. Keep on trusting God. Keep on praying. The person will locate you person will locate you if you have asked god to order the step of the man that he has prepared for you or the man that you have that this is the kind of person i want to marry then be sure that god will do his job i love you all i will see you again when i see you haven't said that this is where i go Rain. 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 Rain.